So our next speaker is uh, Bernard Cobos, and he will be presenting uh, Appium, which is an uh, uh, is it a tool or framework to test? Uh, it's, a, it's a library. It's a library for it's testing library. Um, mobile applications and more. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, Appium. Uh, the purpose of, of Appium is to allow uh, automating mobile devices. I will. Yeah, they can hear me. How about now? Is it better? No? It's not better. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, again, Appium is a tool that allows you to automate mobile apps. Uh, I'm uh, Bernard Cobos, I work for a company named Soslabs. Uh, we created that project, but it's an open source project right now. It hosted, it's hosted on GitHub, has an Apache license. Uh, and yeah, why it was created at all. Uh, it's not a question anymore, uh, like mobiles took over the world and uh, you cannot doubt it. And the problem is that uh, the software is becoming more complicated, so we now have the same problems that we had uh, in the past with, uh, with web apps, with desktop apps. So they are becoming more complicated and it's uh, harder and harder to assure uh, high quality of the apps. Uh, and testing and QA, it was always there uh, in, in IT. And it's painful, especially for mobiles, uh, when you have to you know, test on multiple devices, tap through your interface. Uh, so it, it, it's really painful. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, on one hand it's painful, but on the other hand the risk is great. Uh, and uh, uh, companies cannot allow themselves to to ship uh, buggy apps. Uh, and yeah, the more complex the code base, the easier it is to introduce unintended consequences, uh, new bugs to the code. Uh, and yeah, the answer is pretty simple. Uh, the answer is automated testing. Uh, it's a solution that uh, has been there for, for many years, and, and it allows developers to, to sleep well during the night. Uh, and maintain high quality of the code and, and uh, develop faster. Um, yeah, and the, the, the ultimate goal is continuous integration, uh, possibly with continuous deployment. So uh, when you have that, uh, your, your workflow is much better. Uh, and yeah, as I said, you can sleep much better. Um, and this is what we call the development cycle of optimal happiness. Uh, Usually, uh, most people do the, the bright uh, blue uh, side of this graph. So they, they have an idea, then they code it, uh, then they test it locally, and then they push code. And sometimes, at some companies, this is how software is done. Uh, but it's not an optimal way to do software, because then you're only testing manually, locally, and uh, as, as code base grows, it, it becomes harder, and we are only humans, we do a lot of mistakes. Uh, so I've heard this sentence once, that uh, if you're a good developer, you do not believe like yourself, your abilities to, to create bug-free code. So this is when the other side of the graphs comes in. Uh, you create a continuous integration uh, test, uh, a suite, and you've got a continuous integration system. You can uh, automate your deploys. You can also run some tests after the deploy. And at each of the stages, when there's a bug, you know about it because uh, you've got information from the build system. Uh, and you can fix it. And this is what makes you happy because you're not frustrated. You're not introducing regressions. If there is a production error, you can create a test case for that. Um, and it was really, really hard for mobiles because there was not really uh, a good framework that allowed you that. Uh, uh, and Appium is a cross-platform solution uh, and it covers both uh, mo native, uh, hybrid, and web apps for mobiles. Uh, yeah, the goal of Appium was to allow of creation of, um, of a real CI system for mobiles. Uh, 
how popular it is. Uh, Appium was created uh, more than a year ago. It was announced a year ago. Uh, and right now, uh, like Calabash is one of the most popular competitors. And Appium uh, has created a, a big community. It, it was recepted really well. So uh, yeah, open source community is working on it. Yeah, and but why why actually we created Appium, not just taking some project? Uh, well, there were a couple uh, competitors. We looked at them because uh, if there was a good enough competitor, we would definitely uh, just contribute to it. Uh, but there was no none uh, framework that allowed you to to write tests for both Android and iOS apps at the same time. And besides that, uh, there were those rules that we wanted to fulfill with our project. Uh, we wanted to be able to test the uh, app, uh, the same app that we pushed to the to the App Store uh, or Android Marketplace, uh, without you know. Uh, introducing some SDKs just to test the app. Uh, we wanted to, 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 to test the uh, framework to be language agnostic, so uh, we don't think that it's a good idea to force uh, developers to use some uh, other language than they prefer to write tests, so you can write the tests in the same language that you write uh, the app. For example, Objective-C or Java or Python or JavaScript, whatever you like. Uh, yeah, and we wanted to use a, a standard for automation that is already there, uh, and we used Selenium. Uh, and yeah, we also wanted to, you know, this was a wish, but but it turns out uh, to to work really well, and uh, there's a community around the project. Platform support. Uh, we support real devices, simulators, hybrid apps, mobile web, and robots. You will see more in a bit. Uh, yeah, the the like uh, how it looks like. Uh, I'm starting a Node server uh, because Appium is written with Node. Uh, so I'm starting Appium uh, and it's connecting to emulator and then there's a Mocha test suite uh, uh, on the upper of the screen, and it's basically interacting with the app because Appium lets you automate UIs. Uh, so you can do all the gestures, uh, you know, just play around with the app, verify that something is displayed on the screen, stuff like that. Uh, so you, you can simulate the real user interaction with your app. Uh, a bit about architecture. Uh, well, Appium is basically an HTTP server uh, that handles uh, web driver sessions. Uh, and yeah, it's that simple. That's why it's so easy to create uh, language bindings, and language bindings are already there because they were created as a part of a Selenium project, and it is reusing the same protocol as Selenium is using. Selenium. Uh, Number two is also known as Selenium Web Driver, uh, and it was stand well. It is standard for browser automation. It's currently uh, W3C draft, uh, and it will like in future you won't even need uh, a Selenium server because the browser vendors will uh, will have that inside the browsers already. So you just will connect with this uh, Web Driver protocol. But yeah, coming back to Appium, uh, Selenium Web, Web Driver is, is an HTTP API, so you just create a session and interact with the application. Uh, yeah, clients in every language, almost every language, but it's really easy to create a new one uh, because it's an HTTP API. Uh, yeah, and as I said, it's a W3C working draft. Uh, and Appium, uh, Appium is, is working with Sel Selenium project and uh, we're uh, working on extending WebDriver protocol to include some mobile commands. Uh, it is because currently uh, we extend, we found uh, like a, a hacky way to do that, uh, but uh, to, be com to uh, comply with Selenium protocol, but we want it to become official and part of the WebDriver protocol. Um, yeah, we're working with the Selenium project that was uh, already meeting uh, like two or three months ago. Uh, yeah, how is it done? Uh, 
Appium is a HTTP server, but it connects with uh, with Apple Instruments or Google uh, UI Automator, and this way it can automate the app. Uh, so it's it's using uh, the the instruments, the tools that uh, the vendors provide. So it's it's not you know some hackery that will stop working in in with next release uh, of the operating system. Uh, so it's it's all done in the proper way. Uh, yeah, so you create a script, there's the Appium, and it connects with a, with a tiny uh, bootstrapped server on, on a device. Yeah, thanks. Uh, the same for, for Android. Uh, if you want to know more about that, just talk with me after that, uh, because I want to, you know, just to present you some basics here. Uh, how does like, how do you start a session? Like you, you tell it to connect to the to the. Here is an example using unit tests in Python. You just create a web driver session and connect to the Appium server on your local host, for example, and you just tell it where your app is. And that's it. Then you can access elements uh, in the app uh, in a similar manner that you do for the web applications. So you can access them by accessibility labels, by element types, and stuff like that. You can interact with them, send some keys, uh, fill out the form, swipe, whatever, slide. Yeah, here's an example test case that could be done for, for an application. And what, well, if you get convinced you want to have a CI, uh, what's, what's your solution for that? You can create a Selenium grid that is, is uh, a tool that allows you to create a, a cloud of servers inside a company. You can also use uh, Sauce Labs because it's free for open source. So uh, if, you, if you have a big project, a lot of tests, you want to run them in parallel, you can do that. And as I said, uh, Appium is working with real devices too. So here's a movie, uh, and it's automating uh, Android Contacts app. Uh, and what is funny, you don't have source for, for Android Contacts app. So using Appium, you don't even need uh, a source of the application for Android. So it's filling out the form. You can also check for elements. Uh, there's also a part of Appium project is an inspector that allows you to connect to, to, to the application so you can uh, see what, what uh, element types are there, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, for mobiles, uh, for mobile web, you can also start uh, Safari on iOS uh, or, or Chrome on Android. You can interact with the pages, uh, sub, uh, submit some forms, check if the output is correct, uh, get the HTML of the page, uh, so you can do all that. And here is using ex exactly the same uh, code. For, for a test, and it's just uh, once saying that it wants Android and once it wants Safari, and you don't have to change anything in your test. Yeah, and the funny part, uh, robots. So here, Appium is used to get uh, uh, coordinates of, of the keyboard keys on the screen, and then it's telling robot to tap on those, key, the, on those keys. So maybe in future, testing will look like that, but you never know. Uh, yeah, as a community is pretty active, but still there are a lot of things to do. So if you like that, get involved. Uh, it's all on GitHub, and that's it. Thank you. Yeah, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer.